Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, NVIDIA making their own CPU, 8-core Tiger Lake CPU confirmed, Ryzen 4000 specs leak, and the official RX 6000 design. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, I already have a follow up to yesterday's story. For those who didn't see it, Nvidia officially purchased ARM, which was a pretty huge deal in and of itself. A 40 billion dollar deal in fact. Well, during the briefing, one really interesting thing took place. Nvidia CEO Jensen Huang essentially confirmed the possibility of an Nvidia branded CPU. When asked about the possibility of such a CPU for the data center, or make the reference chip for others, or actually help them run it, Jensen Huang stated, quote, Well, first of all, you've made an amazing observation, which is all three options are possible. So now with our backing and ARM's serious backing, the world can stand on that foundation and realize that they can build server CPUs. Now, some people would like to license the cores and build a CPU themselves. Some people may decide to license the cores and ask us to build those CPUs or modify ours. So yeah, an NVIDIA branded CPU seems very possible and something I'm sure both AMD and Intel are likely watching very closely. Hopefully this will turn into a powerful driving factor for both companies to push things forward. Of course, time, as always, will tell. But first, creating a website is pretty tough, right? There's the coding, then the design layout, and everything. Well, it's actually never been easier than with today's sponsor, Squarespace. The all-in-one solution for creating a gorgeous website with ease. Squarespace does it all, like automatically picking a color scheme from your logo to easily customizing the site with one-click sections. Plus, they make search engine optimization easy, and they've got appointment scheduling, email campaigns, and even e-commerce tools for an online store. So don't wait. Head to Squarespace for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use squarespace.com slash gamermeld to save 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. Next up for today, if you follow the channel, you likely saw that Intel recently announced their ultra-low power Tiger Lake mobile processors. And while they are definitely an improvement over Ice Lake, just as we saw in leaks, they only get up to 4 cores. Now obviously that isn't terrible, but it's a far cry from AMD's 8 core Ryzen processors. Well, in a recent blog post on Medium by Intel's VP of Client Computing Group, Boyd Phelps, Intel is planning to move up to 8 cores. He doesn't state specifically what it is, but a known leaker from the PTT forum claims that their Tiger Lake H processors get up to 8 cores. That means AMD could get some very real competition soon. Then again, they're likely set to release Zen 3 mobile parts at the beginning of the year, so it could be tough for Intel to take the lead for long. Next up, the hardware leaker Cyberpunk Cat leaked an AMD document to a few news outlets, and what's interesting is that it actually gives us some new information on AMD's upcoming Ryzen 4000 desktop CPUs. So let's go over it. Starting things off, it confirms the leaks suggesting Ryzen 4000 is the 19H family of processors. What's really interesting here is that the core complex die is quite a bit different from Zen 2. See, in Zen 2, the CCD had two CCX modules and one I.O. die. Zen 3, on the other hand, comes with only one CCX module and one I.O. die. Now, you may think that means half the cores, but as we've seen in past leaks, the Zen 3 CCX modules come with eight instead of four cores. Each processor also comes with up to two complexes, which means a maximum core count of 16 cores. So next-gen Ryzen won't be going up in cores, but we basically already expected that. It also comes with two unified memory controllers that support up to 512 gigabytes of memory per channel and native support for DDR4-3200. Now, moving back to the core count, I do want to mention that there was a rumor going around a few days ago that suggests 4th-gen Ryzen will offer a 10-core CPU. Of course, that is possible, but given the CCX modules, it's tough to see. They would effectively have to ship 16 core parts with 6 of those cores turned off, and that's likely quite tough to bend for. Then again, these documents are actually a bit old, but it also takes a lot of planning to mass produce CPUs, so I still think it's unlikely. It's possible, but unlikely. Lastly for today, AMD has officially revealed their Radeon RX 6000 series design. The image was originally shared on Twitter in a tweet by AMD themselves. 
As you can see, they mentioned the design being specifically for the new cards, as well as being able to view it better in Fortnite. Luckily, a user already shared the design in Fortnite, and as you can see, AMD has finally ditched their blower design for a much better triple fan layout. That should keep the reference cards much cooler and quieter. Next, we can see it comes with two 8-pin power connectors, as well as a USB-C slot. All in all, I think it's a pretty nice design, though obviously that's very subjective. It certainly isn't a huge departure like NVIDIA's new 3080 and 3090 shroud, but I'm sure it'll get the job done. Let's just hope the performance is able to match this new look. So while that does it for today, which design do you prefer? NVIDIA's RTX 3080 or AMD's RX 6000? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.